What is going on guys? Matt Downs with Daily Grind Fantasy Sports and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use the DG Fantasy Optimizer. About a year ago I started this optimizer because it was supposed to look the way that I wanted it to look as a consumer. I wanted the ease of comparisons between the market values and, and, and DFS books. Um, and I also just wanted an easy to follow format. I wanted to be able to just look down uh, a list of, of different props and see the most profitable bets. And that's exactly what we accomplished here. This is definitely going to be a more overview of the optimizer. If you if you are coming to this channel for, for not the first time and you've seen this and this video isn't for you, this is for somebody who's visiting our website for the very first time who has no idea what they're looking at. So again, from a more broad uh, overview on how to use this thing, a more broad perspective that is. So at the very top, we have our apps here, Underdog Fantasy, No House Advantage, Prize Picks, all the DFS apps. Um, usually multiple ones are legal in your state and you're using this for the very first time because DFS apps are the only type of sports betting, sports betting that are allowed in your state. So we're going to be taking a look at the prize picks one just because it is the most uh, popular uh, app at this point in time. But what you can do is you can sort by any specific book um, and, and then and then select the, the most profitable plays based on that sports book at the top or DFS app rather. So another way to, to, to look through plays is by selecting the league. We have all the available leagues that we have um, when there's available data uh, via the sports book. So for instance, we have tennis, we have CSGO, college baseball, Dota. We're in the off season, so we're not looking at too many uh, sports right now, but we're looking at a lot of profitable plays, which I'll talk about here in just a second. You can also sort by the, the teams. This is a, dyna a dynamic uh, filter. So you can sort by any specific team, stat type, any type of stat that you're looking for on prize picks specifically, or whether they're going to be an over or under. And then this is the most important tab that you guys should be paying attention to. If you're selecting, if you're if you're playing plays on prize picks, you need to sort first and foremost by this tab, because this is going to give you the type of plays that you should be selecting. Whether you're playing a three man power, I do not recommend it. If you're playing a two man power, if you're playing a five flex, uh, six flex, all these plays are based on a mathematical advantage for that slip type. So if I'm selecting, for instance, if I want to play a five man prize pick slip, which is mathematically the best slip type out of the entire prize picks app, it then sorts by the type of plays that you should be playing for that slip. Anything over a 54.26% chance is profitable for that, that five man slip. Anything that is higher than a 57.75% is profitable for a two man power. And again, it limits your plays based on that, uh, based on that fact, based on that percent, because in order to remain profitable in the long run for two man powers, you need to hit your individual legs of 57.75% or higher again to remain profitable. But for five man flexes, which is why I talk about them being the best or six man flexes, it gives you a lot of, a lot more wiggle room, a lot more plays to select from. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So using this tab is the best way to maximize your ROI um, and simply compare market value to the prize picks uh, projections. And then we also have a show DFS line discrepancies button here. Um, anything that doesn't have a discrepancy, it'll just filter out. A lot of people don't like um, playing plays that don't have a discrepancy for whatever reason. I recommend having this on at all times. This is going to reset your filters pretty straightforward. And you actually don't have to refresh your page at all. Um, once you have your page up, we have a dynamic refresh button here. So as you can see, once I click it, it brings up the plays and automatically refreshes here within the app. So that's very uh, convenient for our consumers. So again, you always want to select this drop down before selecting your plays, unless this isn't your first radio, but for a lot of you, it is. So for instance, we're going to be selecting five flex, prize pick slips, uh, or six flex, because those are the best types, what we recommend from the optimizer. But more importantly, I want to show you guys what you're looking at, because a lot of this is just like, Oh, these these lines don't mean anything to you, especially if you're betting uh, through a DFS app for the very first time. For DFS apps, as we know, um, they don't have lines like sports books. If you go to a sports books like uh, like like DraftKings, you're going to be betting straight bets on individual player props, and they all have like this this uh, this line. Uh, next to their names, which shows you the price that you're paying for that prop. If it's minus 200, you're not getting much bang for your buck. If it's uh, plus 100, you're going to double up, right? Those lines, those are American odds. And that's what you're reading here because in, in, in prize picks, even though they don't display these types of lines, it's still hidden within the slip types. So for a five flex prize pick slip, you're, you're playing minus 119 odds per uh, per pick. And as you can see here in this drop down, that's what we're displaying. So again, even though they're showing it like a, a regular uh, multiplier payout, there's still hidden juice within these, these player props. 
So again, we're displaying that there. And then what we're able to do is compare directly to the market given that value. Because all we're doing is comparing price points here using the DG Fantasy Optimizer. This is the way you plus EV bet. This is the, the way to remain profitable in the long run. So as you can see here, exit kick. We're recommending taking the under here based on this column because the line on prize picks, the projection is set to four and a half on the sports book. This is Batano set the minus 118 odds at three and a half. You're getting that whole kill discrepancy here. So we're recommending this at a uh, the average odds given the discrepancy minus 186 juice. Um, you're getting this at minus 119 implied odds and you're getting a minus 186 line at minus 119 implied odds, a 60.1% chance to hit the under. So you're just simply going to go to your prize pick slip and you're going to put an exit kick based on that information because that is a mathematically profitable bet. Not even using fundamental analysis, you don't have to do any of that because the market using discrepancies knows all. We're going to use a better example here. We're going to go all the way down. Again, not too many plays, so probably not the best time to do videos like this, but let's just hypothetically say this is a profitable bet. Uh, Devers. Uh, we have market odds across the board at minus 152, minus 135, minus 130. The average odds minus 137. You can get this for a minus 119 implied odds here in a prize pick slip. Rafael Devers, that's literally all you have to do. You go down the line. For, you first select the plus EV plays. You limit it to, to the plays that are profitable. Go down the list, select these plays. That easy. It, it is literally that easy. And for anybody who, who comes to me and asks how to use the DG Fantasy Optimizer, this is usually what I tell them. Of course, there's correlation to take into consideration, things of that nature. Like obviously, you don't play... Uh, you know, three from the same team, one over, one under, one under. You know, it's that that's more like common sense. But overall, this is how you use the DG Fantasy Optimizer. Again, we have it for underdog too. You can switch to, 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 to underdog. Obviously, different projections for underdog. So there's going to be different types of plays. Um, the exact same thing though. Uh, and again, their slip types are different. So you're going to select the best type of slip on underdog. Five man insured plays, minus 120 uh, average odds for each leg and uh, three three picks non-insured are also the second best if you guys want to go that direction as well. You can take the top three plays here, put them into an underdog slip and there you go. You got a profitable bet in the long term. So that's literally all we're doing, guys. We're comparing the market. We have every single DFS app, no house advantage, parlay play, Fliff, Hot Streak, Jock Market, Thrive, Fantasy. Hopefully this tutorial video was helpful. If it was, guys, please do hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and of course, smash that like button for all of our future content. With all that being said, have a great rest of your day, and let's cash.